I've never been a fan of Facebook, but they probably already knew that. And ever since they rebranded to Meta and started pushing this Metaverse nonsense on everybody, I've never really liked that either. And it seems like the universe is on my side. It's like they share the same distaste towards this company that I do, because yet another sticky situation has just come out directly regarding the Meta staff. Now let's play a fun little game called What Crime Did the Manager of Community Development for Meta Commit? Was it vehicular manslaughter? That's a quirky one. Did he kill his mother and wear her skin as a winter coat? That'd be mighty weird. Or did he try to meet up with an underage kid and get Chris Hansen? Yeah, he did that last one. Now this story just broke wind recently, less than a day ago as of recording this, and what's that smell? Smells like another fart being added to the stinky conglomerate known as Facebook. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just really wanted to work a fart joke into this. Anyways, the man in question here is Jaron A. Miles, and like I said before, he's the manager of community development over at Meta, and Jaron, when they said they wanted to reach a younger audience, I don't think this is quite what they had in mind. I think they might have wanted you to take a different approach to this. <laughs> But I found out about this situation during my daily hate scroll through Reddit where I reflect on how much I hate myself and I saw this video and saw that it was posted by the predator poachers who caught him and they go by the name PMC, not PMC, PCM Predator Catchers Muncy, Muncy. But before we do get into the video of them catching him with his pants around his ankles, not literally, but figuratively, you know, that could have, yeah, I understand how that could have got misinterpreted. But I just wanted to say I do have a bit of a weird feeling towards these predator poacher channels as well because while they are doing a good deed, you know, catching a predator before they can get their hands on a child or another child in some cases, it's just that all the text and evidence that they have back and forth between them and the predator, none of that most of the time can be used in a court setting to actually get this person charged and trod as the predator that they are. For example, in EDP's case, when he was on his expedition, his journey, his quest for a cupcake, they couldn't end up using all of that mountain of evidence that they had against him for whatever reason. Now, I don't know the, you know, the laws and whatever behind that. I'm no, you know criminal justice major or a lawyer or nothing. I don't know what actually causes it to not actually be usable in court, you, you know, to slap a sentence on him, slap the book on him or whatever. I don't know the logistics behind that, but what I do know is the fact that they're basically just using this for clout and exposure, exposure instead of actually getting these people locked up and the sentences that they deserve. That is where it gets kind of murky for me. Like I said, I do like that they're catching these people, but the fact that they're going to just release them and not be able to do anything to them and let that person go out and possibly talk to more children and meet with more children, that's where it gets, the lawn gets very muddy, you know? It's just like, where is the lawn in the sand that you can draw to where it can be used in court and where it can't be used? Like, I don't, I want to understand the stuff behind that, but like I said, I don't. So that is the only reason I'm kind of... You know, I'm teeter-tottering on whether I do actually like these predator catcher channels or not. Now with the backstory and all that out of the way, I wanted to show you some of the video here. I obviously can't show you all of it because this is it right here. It's a two-hour live stream, so I believe they live streamed this encounter of meeting up with him. And like I said, it's on the channel PCM Predator Catchers Muncie. Muncie? I don't know how to pronounce that still. But I'm just going to be showing you the video that I saw on Reddit because it's 2 minutes 52. This pretty much just shows you the most important part, the actual confrontation and them talking to this guy where he states his name and his job, occupation, his intentions, and so on and so on. And, all, and also his very bad excuses, you know. All the predators have those. So you're telling this 13-year-old boy that he makes you horny, correct? Could be perceived as such, yes. Oh, quit the bullshit, bro. Could be perceived as such, yes. He's trying to be so smart. <laughs> I like how they do call him out, though, on that instantly. But it just keeps getting worse from here. I'm sick of your bullshit. I won't have any restraint around you if I'm horny. What does that mean? It means I was flirting. I was talking to him. Throughout all of this, I, I'll let you know there was never any intention of ever meeting up with him. So you heard it right there, he said he had no intention whatsoever of meeting up with him. I feel like I've heard that before somewhere, you know, on like every predator ever maybe? <laughs> but they read the text message right there and said, he said to the kid, or what he thought was a kid, 
that he would have no restraint whatsoever if they met up with each other. Now that right there sounds pretty damning to me, you know? It sounds like they caught him red-handed in 4K, which they very much did, and he's trying to weasel his way out of the corner like the weasel he is. Okay. Bro! But you did set two meets with him. Two that meets. I never intended to go to or but you set show it up, up to. Correct. And I, I gave information, location, and all that up. stuff. Yes. I mean, how did I find like, you? It's not like I just pulled this out of my ass. So each answer he gives here, he's trying to, you know, beat off around the bush and act like he didn't intend to meet up with the kid when he very much did. You know, like how did they get him here? If he wasn't intending to meet up with a kid, whether he was going to meet them or the kid was coming to meet him, that doesn't really make much of a difference. His intention was to meet with a kid, and you can see as this video progresses here, his eyes just keep getting water and water. It's like he, he's starting to realize as this goes on that he's really screwed here. You need the hotel in the hotel room. Right. So you set the meets. So you're okay with talking sexual online as long as you don't meet the children. This is the one time I've done this. That's also something I've heard every single time a pedophile gets caught. They're like, oh, this is my first time. I won't ever do it again, please. <laughs> it's so dumb, man. You are okay to talk sexual to 13-year-old Corey because you knew in your head that you would not meet up with him. That, that was my rationale. Okay. He asked you what you do. I am the head of global community development for Meta. That's a pretty fucking good job, right? Huge, right? You make well, good money, right? Um, what, what was the title again? I mean, what is your official title? Manager of Community Development. There was him stating he's the manager of community development for Meta, you know? It's not a good look for Meta to have a, uh, a guy who is into children being the manager of developing a community on Meta, you know? <laughs> Now this obviously isn't directly Meta or Facebook's fault for having this guy on staff. I would say they didn't know he was a pedophile, but regardless of that, this is going to hurt Meta. It's going to hurt their image, if nothing else. You said, make out with you, touch you, suck you. Oh my god. Is that what you said? I did. That sounds like a Meg The Stallion song, like lyrics to Meg The Stallion or Cardi B's new rap song. That is horrible. That's awful. Even saying that to a a grown adults weird. I guess it kind of does make sense though that pedophiles are weird now that I thought about that. Yeah, it definitely makes sense, you know. <laughs> pedophiles, you know, they want to meet kids. It doesn't surprise me that they talk like that over text. He said, haha, that would be crazy. And you're talking to this other boy. Can I see a pic of him? What's Why'd you want to see a pic of him? Just want to see what it looks like. Part of the conversation. Yes, natural. Oh, All this stuff. You were hoping that this 13 year old somehow got a ride here and somehow got up here. And you weren't going to push it. You weren't going to be like, yeah, I'll come get you, come that. You weren't doing that. Maybe because you're scared to get caught or something. But you were praying, hoping that this boy would show up knocking on your fucking door. Awful. That's why you gave him the address. You gave him the room number. So it looks like Jaren here decided that he was going to try to meet up with a 13-year-old boy who he believed was 13, named Corey, at a hotel. It seems like he rented out or bought this hotel for a night or two, told the 13-year-old boy the room number, and the hotel and everything with full intention of having that kid come up to the room and then, you know, what he said in the text messages. I'm not going to repeat it because it feels vile just thinking about it. I would probably die right on the spot if I repeated that out loud. Like Voldemort's name, I can't say it. Now this last part here is where it gets funny. I just want you to look at his face through this. Let me say, you're a very evil man, okay? <laughs> You might not remember it, which is bullshit, because I know you're fucking lying. He is very evil. But you fucking hurt somebody. Look at his Probably face. more than one person. This isn't your first fucking time. Oh, this isn't my first time catching fucking pieces of shit like you. Yes. Yeah, By your verbiage, little boy. It's illegal, little boy. Mm -hmm. This ain't your first fucking time. Yeah, it's terrible, but I can't help laugh, but laugh at his face, man. Oh my god. So they said right there, this isn't his first time, which most of the time with these people that get caught, it's never their first time. They always get caught, sadly, after their first time. I wish they all got caught in the first time and then had the entire jail built on top of them. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen like that. Like I said, I don't know the logistics, but most of these things don't end up sticking, and I don't believe he's been charged with anything yet. And I hope he does, but 
it doesn't look likely because someone like EDP didn't even get charged and that's a pretty high profile thing right there. And I don't think I need to say this, but I will say it just for the video's sake. He has been fired. He no longer is the manager of community development over at Meta. They obviously fired him and you know, you know why now. I just wanted to add this in. I didn't say it at the beginning because it's very obvious. You do something like this, you're no longer going to hold a job anymore. It's not very surprising. I'm trying to look up stuff right now. I'm going to look up, see if I can find out if he's been charged or going to be charged. I highly doubt it, like I said, but it's worth a shot. It's worth looking it up. So this article here on uh, ABC says, A spokesperson from Meta reportedly confirmed to the Daily Caller that Miles is the man in the video, and he is no longer with the company. Like I said, not very surprising. The seriousness of these allegations cannot be overstated, a spokesperson reportedly said to the Daily Caller News Foundation, the individual is no longer with the company, we are actively investigating the situation and cannot provide further comment at this time. So it's, you know, just a typical cover the behind, cover the booty hole from the company response, which to be expected. And then Jaren obviously doesn't surprise me here either, deleted his social media accounts, his LinkedIn, Twitter, and basically his life's ruined, which it should be. He deserves all the stuff that he's getting. So this is a quote from the people who live streamed it and caught him the channel that I showed a minute ago. They said, Screenshots of the online conversation are being finalized and will be sent to the Columbus, Ohio and Palm Springs, California police departments later today. So they are being sent out. Like I said, I don't know if anything will come of it. I, I hope it does. I really hope it does. That's We can cross our fingers and you know shove it up our anus or whatever for good luck. That's about all we can do. We can just hope that it happens and that's really is all, that's really all you can do with these predator situations unfortunately i wish there was just they could just take it i don't know why they can't you know that's a topic for another day though i'm getting <laughs> sidetracked and yeah that's the story a guy who works at meta slash facebook slash whatever they're gonna rebrand to next after this fiasco got caught theoretically red-handed and with his pants around his ankles and exposed on a youtube channel where they catch predators and that's pretty much it so yeah i'm gonna catch you in the next one and always remember Life's always better when you butt chug.